coming down to the end here in Charlotte. Just 25 laps to go at the Southern Slam 150. Ralph Shaheen, Ray Evernham, Derek Pernasiglia watching Danny Bone in the 65 try to fend off the advances of the two of Doug Kobe, the current modified series points leader, and the four-time champ is starting to turn up the heat, not just on his brakes, Ray, but the aggression as to how he's leaning on the back bumper of Danny Bone. Yeah, and I think it's really, uh, uh, oh, it's making me smile. He's letting, okay, kid, you know, here I'm four-time champ back here. And uh, I, I, again, think it's great that Doug came down to race with these guys. As we look through the field at guys like Calvin Carroll and even Jamie Tomeno, Bobby Miesmer, you know, the people that don't get a chance to race with, with Doug Colby. And then some of the fans get to see him. I, I think it's great. You know, a lot like the Xfinity guys, get to race with the cup guys sometimes these guys will be better for having to be had been able to race with uh with doug and i just think it's great for him to come down here and run with these guys and and he's uh he's he's putting a little bit of pressure on danny right now can't wait to see what danny's got to say about this kobe with just that one tour win this year but he leads the point and he'll be looking to wrap up his fifth championship Coming up at Thompson, a race you'll see here on NBCSM. Really looking forward to that. Said, uh, just under 20 laps to go here, so Doug is going to start to keep that pressure on Danny as he heads into lap traffic. Bone no slouch, as you can see, the 2014 Bowman Gray track champion. And if you can win there, it's pretty stout piece on your resume to say that you can handle just about anything can, and again uh, really uh, that family that we talk about his dad is his crew chief they work on their own stuff uh, this is what modified racing is about winning at Bowman Gray means that Danny is very used to somebody being right up behind him dealing with a lot of traffic in front of him at the same time and the pressure of what that can mount to be he's quite comfortable in this situation but well, I'm gonna tell you those two are extremely fast because they are coming up to lap Jamie Tomeno, who happens to be running fourth. Former series champion of the 99. 15 laps to go. Tomeno moving a little bit to the outside, trying to give a little bit of that inside lane there to our race leader. Smart move by Jamie. Yeah, it, Bone's going to have to go to the inside. If he tries to go to the outside, it's going to leave uh, it's going to leave a big opening for Doug Kobe. Oh, Kobe oh, goes down here. Lower. He comes. Could oh. get the wheel there. And the laps are winding down. Well, this is going to get good. They call the Southern Slam 150. Will it be a slam, a bump, a nudge? You know something's coming. Uh, you see those cars starting to hang out a little bit. Yeah, we've talked a lot about the brakes, Ray, but it looks like those rear tires starting to give up their grip as well. Yeah, and the guys are using the throttle a little bit harder now, too. They want to be, you can see they're sideways there. Heavy lap traffic. This could be a problem for Danny. He's going to the outside. Not a good move. Not a good move. Oh, two, three wide. Here comes Kobe oh, right man. by Bone, and he's into the lead. Yeah. Just a, it is so tough to pick your way through lap traffic. Easy for us to say sitting up here watching from up top, but uh, wow. It is going to be really tough for Bone to get back up there and mount a charge with 10 to go. He's got to get around Tomeno first. He's cleared him. Now can he catch Kobe and maybe use that bumper to nudge him out of the way? Well, there's our third place car right up uh, ahead of Kobe. So Danny has got a hope to catch Doug Kobe in traffic again, like Kobe just did with him. Sometimes it's easier to be the guy in second when you get the traffic. You know, we've seen enough sprint car races, looks like that, than it is the leader. And the leader, you make a decision. If you're running second, you go where the leader's not. Yeah, that's Carroll in the 39. The red and black car is actually third in the race. We actually see Doug Kobe pulling away from uh, from Danny Bone in, in, the, in the 65. So uh, looks like Kobe might have saved the tire. His car looks a little bit faster at this point anyway, Ralph. Can't waste any time with Carroll, though. 
I was just trying to decide if I thought it would be important for him to get around him. He's pushing on him a little bit. He's going to probably have to do something to get around Carroll. He's going to go to the outside here in three and four, and that's probably the smart move. Get away from him, put a little more distance between you and Bone, who had closed right back up. Yeah, and then, you know, that's the, the neat thing about the Modifieds is they still use that front bumper to let people know that they're getting impatient. And, you know, to me, that's short track racing at its best. I'm here. You need to move. I will move you if you don't. Well, you know, Teddy Christopher's get you your three bump roll, right? That was pretty much it, right? <laughs> Kobe, just a couple to go. Ray, there's no points for this victory. But with Thompson right around the corner, I think he's going to feel great about this win. It's going to be a lot of momentum. Put him and that two team in a great spot as they head to what could be a very historic victory for them. Absolutely. A confidence builder, you know, to, to win out here in Charlotte, to come all the way down here, make that trip, and then go home with a trophy. Absolutely a big confidence builder. Tonight it's about winning here in the hometown of NASCAR with one more lap to go. But soon, Doug Kobe will be chasing his fifth NASCAR Whalen Modified Tour Championship. Just adding to what are already Hall of Fame caliber stats, but a big victory and a lot of momentum for Doug Kobe as he takes the checkered flag here in Charlotte. Danny Bone did a great job of hounding him and leading him here tonight, but the two will go to victory lane for only the second time in 2017. Doug Kobe, the big winner here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Well, those brakes can finally cool. We'll be in victory lane with Doug when we return to Charlotte after this.